All right, so it is recording. Um, so, you know, we'll try to keep the swearing, the swearing to a minimum. <coughs> and uh, Jay, it sounds like you've been reaching out to different uh, mentoring agencies in terms of their marketing communications people and, and having conversations. How's that going? Oh, fine. I've made a, I've made the round one calls, and then uh, after today, I'll follow up uh, based on what we come up with today. They have not seen the plan yet that you you know that you, we've drafted up yet, uh, except uh, when you maybe sent it out yesterday. So, oh. yeah, yeah, that's our first kind of go at to send it to to Richie May as well as to the mentoring agencies for feedback. Yeah. Um, and you know, concurrently, we're starting to get going on things and Caitlin's posting this week um, on some on um, which which mentoring agency are you focusing on this week Caitlin I don't know if Caitlin's there I think it was Denver Urban Scholars um, and so when you look at the um, And when you look at the social media calendar, you'll see that each week we're going to focus on a different mentoring agency leading up to the October 23rd event to post about the mentees, the stories, um, as well as to bring recognition for the My Cause, My Cleats uh, Mentoring Shoe Initiative. All right, Jessica, so I wonder... Jessica, Jessica, are you on? Yeah, I'm here. Can you guys... Yep, got you now. Kirsten, um, I'm not... Kirsten, you may have your mic muted. I am here, yes. This is Kristen. Okay. Great. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the campaign today. And we've done these monthly meetings just to make sure we're all checking in um, and on the same page with My Cleats, My Cause, and the mentoring too with Chris Harris Jr., um, as well as with Joseph Creativity and Richie May. So great to have everybody uh, on the call. And we are recording it so that if you want to send it to any of your colleagues, update them on what's going on, feel free to do that. Um, really today what I was hoping we could talk about is the, the draft agenda for October 23rd, the campaign, the goals, messaging tools, partners, um, the social media calendar, and then any next steps. Did anyone have anything else that they wanted to talk about today or address today? All right. Well, if you do think of something, um, feel free when we're talking throughout to jump in with questions, ideas or even our next sec next step section to uh, talk about what else we need to, to cover either in this call or at a later date. Um, so really the agenda for October 23rd, um, we had talked about you know really making sure Chris Harris Jr. had some time with the mentees, um, providing some opening remarks, talking a little bit about the My Please My Cause initiative and what we've done so far to get Chris up to speed. Uh, and then have the mentees uh, explain their art, um, whether it's taped or a live presentation, we're still figuring out what the mentees will be uh, comfortable with, as well as what we're able to do. Um, but just a short, here is my art, this is what my, um, my vision was behind it, this is what uh, my inspiration was behind it. Um, Gerard, do you see the mentees uh, doing anything else in those you know, three minutes that they have to talk a little bit about their piece of work? Uh, no, that should be a perfect amount of time for them. Um, so we, we should we should be good there. Uh, hopefully, I'll be finalizing. I would like all of them to do live presentations as opposed to recording, um, just in the sense of audio, things like that for post production. So I'll hopefully be finalizing that all within the next week or, or the week after. Okay. And we just thought instead of having all all seven mentees come up and present, just to break it up a little bit show the mentoring clip video with uh, Chris Harris Jr. and Mayor Hancock. Um, have another couple mentees come up. Um, see if we can show some clips from the mentees from, uh, from before. Um, also have, you know, next three mentees come up. And then uh, have Chris come up and talk a little bit about the power of mentoring and being an underdog. Him to announce the winner for the selection of his shoe design. And then we really wanted the participants uh, to be able to come up, meet Chris, and to take pictures with him. And we thought the last little bit might be nice to do some interviews and have Chris just hang out with the mentees, talk to them, and capture some footage of that as well. Did anyone have any thoughts, ideas, or said, you know, this is really missing, why, why aren't we doing this? Or we should be, you know, 
involving this piece in our agenda, knowing that we only have Chris for an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I didn't know if anyone had any other ideas on what we should be doing for that day. I think that all sounds great. Um, and I'm sure you're probably getting to this later, but I think this has a really good PR potential. So I, I would anticipate that we would get some uh, reporters there that would want to interview Chris and maybe the student who, who was chosen at the end. So maybe just a lotting time for that. But I think you have that built in. So I think it's good. Yeah, that's great. And I think, you know, Jay's done a great job of pulling together a press kit and also looking at where where do where do we what do we want media to capture? And so I'm guessing Jay, you're 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 thinking about that and having that as part of your your pitch for media to come out on the 23rd. Yeah, so I'll be working with Jessica, Tina, Bridget, and Kirsten on that because what I want to do is draft up what I'd like to hand to the media and this time be a little more directive than we were the last time in the first session about the key messages we want to bring home. Uh, so that they don't leave out, for example, the participating agencies and that they don't leave out, you know, what our primary goals are. So I'm going to be getting that out uh, early next week to get input from the marketing reps, um, as well as to start the dialogue on, okay, what do we want to do relative to press coverage? How much do we want to have there, given the fact that Chris has emphasized that he wants to keep this fairly informal? So uh, when we had calls with uh, with that group, when I had calls with that group, some of them are, have contacts at, at the news channels. And I think we just have to figure out uh, who do we want to bring into that so we don't end up with so many lights and so many cameras that we you know, we uh, overwhelm the participants, you know, the, the mentees. Uh, that I'd be concerned about that as well. But I'll be getting after that next week, early next week. Great. Thanks, Jay. Any other thoughts or uh, suggestions for the, for the 23rd? No, I think the point that was made there, though, that we might want to highlight is that we got that last bullet here, Brad, about hangout and interviews with Chris. If we're going to bear, if we're going to build in, uh, you know, a three or four minute piece with the winner and Chris being interviewed, uh, we, we're going to have to probably carve it out of that 12 minute slot and maybe maybe put it put it in there as a specific called out item. So we all know where we're going. Great. Yeah, we can make sure there's that individual time. Okay. That's 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 where we would plug that in. Uh, any other thoughts on the agenda? All right, so we'll keep everyone updated as it uh, develops. We are getting input from a variety of different people on the agenda and what could really work. Um, so if you have any other ideas, uh, feel free to shoot them to us and uh, happy to try and work those in as well. Um, we still aren't 100% confirmed on the time and now I just learned the other day that uh, the date I, is not 100% confirmed. Um, so I don't wanna freak anyone out, but uh, we'll try and figure that out as soon as possible with Chris and his agent to, to make sure we've got the exact time, the exact date to you as soon as possible. Uh, Brad, did she have any other input relative to you know what this, what that agenda looked like? Uh, did she think it looked okay, or didn't she make any comment? No, uh, Chris's agent was really happy with the agenda. Uh, no revisions, no suggestions. So I think Chris is okay with all of these items. Good deal. And uh, doing all this. So you know, I think. You know, we will, for all the attendees coming out, we will make sure we send out a new, um, kind of an email on best practices in working with athletes. We hate for people coming out to be pitching to the athletes to, to do different things, but we really do want you to be able to have interactions or, or the attendees to have interactions with uh, Chris. So we will, you know, have a detailed agenda as well, some guidelines for, for working with Chris. And they just, you know, really asked that we were on time with everything. Uh, last time when we were filming Chris with Mayor Hancock, 
Um, the film crew just ran over in time. They just wanted to get amazing shots over and over again. And Chris was delayed by maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. And I think, you know, I don't know if her comment to that was just make sure everything's on time. Um, we really want it to be a positive experience for Chris and we're hoping to develop a long-term relationship with him. Um, so we're going to try and be really mindful of that while we're, we're implementing the events as well as, you know, making it a great event for the mentees and the mentoring agencies there. Hey, Brad, uh, just a clarification. What is the fallback possible date? October 29th. A Monday. Is that, Brad, is that a, um, is that that following Tuesday or is that a Wednesday? It's a Monday. It's a, it's a Monday. Yeah, so she's, I, you know, I wrote her, she wrote me back last, um, yesterday at the end of the day, and I just quickly responded. So hopefully she can get back to me today and I can let everybody know about dates and times. Okay, great. Um, you know, when we looked at the campaign, and you'll see this also in your overview if you're on the phone, if you, uh, if you have that, or uh, feel free to just listen. We were, in terms of our goals, we really wanted to increase the awareness for need and value of mentoring in Colorado, increase the number of people who are volunteering as members, and then increase the awareness, uh, volunteers and funds for mentoring agencies. So we didn't want, we wanted to do this on a statewide level, but we also wanted to do this for your individual organization as well. So we wanted to make sure our campaign goal is not just promoting uh, Mentor Colorado or the mentoring movement in Colorado, but your individual organizations. And I, I hope you see that represented in some of the things that, that we're doing over the next couple of months. Um, feel free, I, I'm gonna kind of go through everything. Feel free to jump in though, if you have other ideas on goals or, or what I'm talking about, happy to, to stop or go back if you think of something. In terms of how do we measure success, uh, number of social media and media impressions gained from the campaign, searches on the mentoring connector, number of website visits as a result of the campaign. I would love for that to, to happen both at Mentor Colorado and the individual mentoring agency for people to say, wow, we got, you know, 100 more hits this month and, and we think it's from the campaign. Um, number of mentors gained by mentoring agencies participating in the campaign. So we're hoping also mentoring agencies that you're going to be asking, especially in October, November, um, in December, we're assuming that you're already doing this, but we'd love to make sure that you're all asking, where did you hear hear about us? Um, I don't know if that's already a question you're asking. Maybe some of the mentoring agencies on the line uh, could comment. Are you already asking mentors who call you, who write you, where did you hear about us? Yes, we do that. This is Jessica from Well, I actually don't facilitate uh, that part of our programming, so I, I can't 100% sure answer that question, but I'm pretty sure we are asking that. Right. And hopefully if you're asking it, you're also somehow writing it down, if there's a way that you could track that so that we know, you know, the Mentoring Connector, we can see who's searching and who's, who's reaching out on the Mentoring Connector. We can't if they're making phone calls or writing emails directly to your organization. So if, if you're in charge of that, we would love for you to be able to write that down in October, November, December, if they're saying, yes, I heard about you through this campaign. And if you're not in charge of that, if you could talk to the person at your organization, we'd really appreciate to understand how this kind of trickle down awareness raising impacts organizations individually. All right, so and Caitlin's uh, pulled together a social media calendar that goes uh, kind of throughout October, no, into November, and then uh, as well as December. It is looking at really the centering around the October 23rd event, leading up to that, talking about the mentoring agencies. Um, the Broncos have a shoe release. Uh, last year was November 10th. They haven't released the date yet on when that will be, but we're assuming it's gonna be somewhere around the same time. So we'll also have social media around that shoe release. And then of course, the day that um, Chris Harris Jr. wears the shoe. Um, we still haven't confirmed the exact game because there are options. We did hear back from um, Chris's agents that it will only be one game. He will be wearing the shoe. So we want to do a big build up around that one game, try and get some press around that game, use our videos to get more media coverage around that one game, and also use our social media to, to talk about that game, to build up the, the, um, the event. Do you know, um, which, do you know we, which game it is? Brad, do you know which game it is? No, so they still don't know which game it'll be. Um, okay. Hopefully we can find it out sooner rather than later. 
Okay. Um, so we so we can start generating some excitement around that that one game. Um, these are just some of the sample posts that we're going to be sending to to mentoring agencies, to different partner organizations, um, so that we can get more people posting around this. Um, we have some planned tweets for for the governor's office. We have some planned tweets for the mayor's office as well. Um, but we'll be reaching out to all our partner agencies uh, and making sure that they're going to be posting uh, around the campaign, or at least sharing, or you know, retweeting our our posts throughout the campaign. Um, I don't have the you know, I didn't copy everything from the campaign onto the PowerPoint. I don't know if people are looking at that or people wanted to comment. Um, any thoughts around the social media campaign and what we're doing there? And I'd also love for people to co comment on a hashtag. Um, Caitlin and I talked about uh, the debate of creating our own hashtag around this campaign or tapping into a hashtag that's already being used within the mentoring world so that people can be connected to the larger mentoring movement. Uh, I don't know if people have a preference if we should be using our own, if we should be tapping into the larger mentoring movement, or we should be having two hashtags. I'd love for people to comment on that as well as the social media campaign to see if anyone has any thoughts or ideas for us. I, I like the idea of tapping into a hashtag that already exists, that has a good uh, following. Um, do you know of one that already exists specifically for mentoring, for the mentoring world? Yeah, yeah, I think the, the, ment the Mentoring Works one um, does have a following, and people use it a lot. Um, the other one from Mentor is in real life, um, Mentor in real life. That one also has a following. So we, and we can switch it up. We don't just have to use one, but we can constantly, you know, take the top three mentoring hashtags and share them throughout the campaign so that we are tapping into the larger movement if people think that's the best uh, approach for us to take. Um, I'm going to ask a stupid question here just because I don't know the answer. Can you have more than one hashtag? Yes. At, at, yeah. the, at, at the same time? If, you, if you're under your character limit on Twitter, it should be fine. I know um, for some of the scheduling tools that I use on Instagram, you can have a ton of hashtags, but there is a hashtag limit. Um, okay. But like 25 or something. So I using two or three is totally fine. Yeah, then um, I... Okay, then I think we ought to go with that national one as well as mentoring works, unless somebody else has an idea. Yeah, I, I would agree. Also... Looking at the social media campaign, and it looks like there's a couple other ones specifically that the either the NFL players are using uh, for my cleats, my cause, hashtag be a champion. So I'm wondering how that would all work, because then it, it kind of starts getting to be a lot, but... Well, you know, one of the things we're thinking about here is that this is, uh, you know, this initiative that we're driving as a team here is we think the first one where a, a mentor is designing the shoe. And, uh, and we want to maybe get broader exposure across the NFL, and maybe that would be the way it would be to, to pull in their hashtag for my cause, my cleats. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of connected. I also agree with that to include the My Cause My Cleats hashtag. I mean, we could also um, to expand viewership. If there's something to do with Chris Harris Jr., we could use a like a commonly used Broncos hashtag or something like that. I think that's a great idea. And even if we have, um, if we know which game that he'll be wearing the shoe. They usually have a hashtag for each game, like Den, Den versus C for the Seahawks, uh, that starts trending that week before the game. So I would suggest we use that too, uh, just to get more exposure in the NFL world. Good, good idea. And hey, Dan, I, I know Kate. Sorry, go ahead. My question for the social media campaign was, and I apologize for not having studied this super closely. Um, but if you guys are going to be distributing the photos, or I, I see that there's logo on here for the image for all of these suggested posts. The uh, the photos are in um, a Dropbox that you all should be able to access. So we'll email out the link to the Dropbox. So that okay, if you want if you want to pull the photos of your participants, you can do that. Perfect. Thank you. You bet. 
I'll take that. I'll take that action to forward that Dropbox link out, uh, Brad, if you want me to. Yeah, and we can also put in the, um, the mentee mentor photos that were sent to us from you know them interacting in the community and doing stuff in the community, so you have access to those photos. I know, Caitlin, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, the photos and, and generally what you pulled together for the social media calendar? Sure. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, and so really after Brad and I talked, we came up with doing um, each week, we're really going to highlight one of the agencies that's participating with Mentor Monday, where we're sharing out the stories that were submitted um, featuring the mentee. Two posts during the week are going to be thinking a sponsor or a partnership we have through the campaign. And then the hashtags, like many folks have suggested, are really going to rotate. Um, so trying to tap into larger hashtags that already have a following and we'll be kind of sprinkling them in throughout the campaign so that we won't always have just one in a post. We'll have two to three um, really targeting the content that we've shared to hopefully grow um, the interest in the movement that we have. Um, I would also ask that on those featured posts, if you're sharing about the organization, to um, definitely tag and maybe hashtag things related to the organization. I mean, we all have social media accounts, so maybe, you know, if it's on Twitter, tagging our um, organization's Twitter, um, Facebook, et cetera. Definitely. We can definitely add that in. I would vote for that as well. Okay. Any other ideas for the social media piece of the campaign? Um, if you guys want any extra blurb or, you know, like a one-liner about, you know, the particular um, mission of each organization, I think we would all be happy to provide a little bit of extra content just so that, um, you know, folks can kind of see the unique uh, mentoring program aspects of each different organization participating. Um, I would just ask if, you know, to make it more custom or more personalized to each organization, if you if you guys want content, please ask us. Does the, uh, does the, I don't know who was speaking there. Um, I was just wondering if the content that we put on there for the mission of each organization on that one pager from the, August 23, is that what you're talking about? Because if it is, we can just reuse that. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen that page. Maybe I have. Uh, yeah, we, and we just, we just cut and paste overviews that were on your website for your organization. So you know what, I think um, if, we, uh, if we are looking for content, happy to reach out so we can, if there's an event coming up or things that we should be posting about your organization um, as part of this campaign or in, and to complement this campaign, yeah, please let us know. I think uh, it'd be great that if they weren't all just generic overview tweets or posts, but that if there's something special for us to say, uh, that'd be great to know. Yeah, that sounds good. Happy to do that. This is Kirsten from Denver Urban Scholars, by the way. Okay, thanks, Kirsten. Yeah, and I would encourage you guys to send them directly into Caitlin. So I don't become a log jam for that flow. That's Jay. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Yeah, so anyone can, if you have anything specific to send to Caitlin, uh, feel free to forward that to her and she can try and work it into the calendar um, when, when you're being focused on that week or even just, you know, November, December, while we're trying to maintain momentum on the, the campaign. Uh, in addition to the social media piece, there's lots of other ways for mentoring agencies to plug into the campaign, whether they want to invite media out to their organization and, and interview their mentee, or they want to profile you know, some of their work happening in the community. I think uh, we're hoping that you're, you're going to try and piggyback off of this campaign and use it to raise awareness for your, your organization and your community. Um, did anyone have any ideas on how they were going to really use this campaign that they'd like to share with the other mentoring agencies to benefit your organization. Are you planning on doing anything or is it something you're still thinking about? 
Um, definitely. So this is, again, Kirsten from Denver Urban Scholars. We have collected um, some stories about um, the student who is participating in this event. So we can, you know, we'd like to maybe post some little profiles about the student who's participating and her mentor, um, you know, as well as maybe showing some pictures of her drawing that she's entered. Um, I think there are quite a few things that we can do. Also, just sort of creating some buzz. So we're definitely planning to participate. Yeah, this is Jessica from Goodwill, and we plan on doing the same thing. Uh, we kind of used that CVS article that aired a few weeks ago to to bring some attention to it on our website. But we added some some information, just some really short information about Tatiana stories and she was the one that was interviewed in that in that CBS story um, but yeah we would love to to build off of that and kind of go deeper into her story uh, to highlight her across our social channels and and get some buzz going before um, Chris makes his de decision because I mean unfortunately he can't choose all five students that would be amazing but we'd like to get as much buzz out of it before he makes that decision just in case he doesn't choose a Goodwill student. Yeah. This is Tina. In, oh, this is Tina and Gunnison. Do you guys have any ideas ideas for how we can? I mean, our exposure here it, locally is good anyway, and it's a small community, um, and we don't have like public television stations and stuff like that. So do you have any ideas for me on how we can maybe increase some of our exposure on the front range? Well, what we intend to do in, in, is make sure that Gunnison and the other three agencies are called out in the next round of press so that it, it, it's got something in there that you've got. And then the the other thing we're going to try to do is get the Denver Broncos organization there. Uh, they've got a digital media media group to have them create something you can go. And then I, you know, as as discussed in our earlier calls, my goal is to help create a 60 second video that has a piece that's very focused on your your action, your your, okay. your urgency uh, that you can post to your site with photos of your participants and you know, clear messaging that identifies what your mission is. Does that help? Well, it anything that projects past our own community would probably be beneficial. Okay. Got it. Um, I think also um, maybe generally including, you know, calls to action, like why mentors are needed in the state of Colorado, how many are needed, some of the stats that Mentor Colorado uses, um, kind of like during the mentoring month campaign, I think a lot of those are pretty powerful and um, can kind of statewide generate some interest and urgency around the need for mentors. I think that could benefit all of us. Okay. Uh, Brad, uh, can you just quickly go to the slide on the goals of the campaign? Okay, so what I'd like to suggest is, I'll, I'll, Brad, I don't know if I've got this or not um, in copy, but I'd like to get it and then under each of these three bullets, identify how we're going to do it. You know, what is the message or messages that we want to make sure we get across through our campaigns to do these three things? Um, so kind of get real tactical underneath each of the three. How are we going to increase awareness? What is our message going to be? And that would be where some of the, you know, the numbers come into play of how many people, how many youth do not have mentors that should have mentors, that sort of thing. So kind of get direct, yeah, line, of sight, get, get direct line of sight of that. Okay. Sounds good. I'll draft it up and send it out to the media folks to get some input and get some ideas on on how they might how we might do it other than the ways that I might have in my head. Great. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, 
I know we we uh, one other thing that we hadn't mentioned was the tools. So we will have those videos. That, uh, Jay did mention that. Um, we also have a landing page on our website. Um, so if you go to our events, you'll see it there. So thank you, Caitlin, uh, for also creating that for us. Um, so if you have any thoughts around the website, feel free to send us comments on that as well. Um, but did anyone have any other thoughts or ideas on the campaign as a whole? Things that we should be doing to really get this out there. I think we, we're looking at the social media piece. We're looking at the media piece. We're trying to create the right tools with a press kit, a press release, as well as um, the videos and the website. Uh, is there something that we're missing or is there something out of the box that we should be considering to really try to to bring this to the masses? I think you guys have done a good job of, of covering all, all your bases. I think that as much as we can latch on to Chris Harris Jr. and his status as a Denver Bronco, that's going to be our best route of of getting as much exposure as we can uh, just because this is a sports town and everyone loves the Broncos no matter who you are. So I think that's a really unique opportunity about this campaign is just latching on to Chris Harris Jr.'s celebrity status. Um, so in all of our tweets and our posts to tag him and, and if it's possible, I don't know what the relationship is with his agent, but if he is retweeting us or if he is sending out original tweets on his end, I think that would be that would be awesome because he obviously has the most following other than all of the organizations um, i think other ways you know once there is a winner selected to um to continue trying to promote all of the organizations involved if there's any way that we can latch into the broncos marketing budget obviously they're going to have a lot of um, power over the networks, especially during that particular game. If there's any, uh, you know, leverage we can have to encourage them to promote the campaign um, leading up to or during the game, um, to mention it during the game, and maybe mention um, Mentor Colorado and all of the nonprofits that are involved. If there's any way to kind of just increase visibility for um, all of the mentoring agencies involved throughout, even after one is selected as the winner, I think that would be. Um, you know, the best for the overall good for everybody. Do we have contacts at the Broncos? Yeah, so we have a couple contacts there. Um, and I know Jay's got a contact as well, which um, I can't remember his name. Um, but we'll be reaching out to the Broncos. And hopefully they've, they've actually been really good about um, sharing our stuff and retweeting when we did the mentoring clip the video. So I'm hoping that they'll do the same, but even more. Jay, who's the person that you you're talking about, the reporter? For the well, his, yeah, his first name's Phil. Um, he's the guy that does a lot of the sideline work uh, during the games. Um, and then uh, just so the the team knows, we're working through their community relations people primarily um, at this point in time, and and uh, I'm hoping to get Phil and the and the camera guy there on the on the award night. I think what's going to play in our favor is one that mentees are designing the shoes. So I think that's a different angle than most um, other, you know, shoes that are being, that are presented on that same day. But also um, the fact that we'll have video footage that we can feed them, it'll be so much easier for them just to play that than it would be to capture their own. And I think, you know, generally speaking, media and journalists, they're, they're always on tight timelines. So anytime you can give them something and they just have to press play. Um, it's always easier to get those aired. So we're hoping with those two things that we'll have a little bit more coverage than other Broncos players in their shoes. Um, Brad, are you... Oh, this is Tina, I'm sorry. When you guys are doing news releases and stuff that you're sending out, are you sending it to us too, the individual organizations? Yeah, we're, if we're sending out a press release, we'll also send it to you so that you can send it out in your community or you can use that or at least you're aware of what we're sending out. So we'll make sure um, basically anyone copied on this calendar invite will be copied on those communications. Okay, thank you. Great. Any other comments, questions? So 
if there's no other comments, um, in terms of next steps, what we'll be doing is sending out more detailed information, obviously on the date and time, once we get that solidified, but uh, on the actual event on October 23rd, we will be brushing up on the, the campaign overview uh, and infusing some of the comments from today, as well as some of the other comments we're getting. Um, so look for those uh, next week, finalization on the date and time, as well as uh, the finalization of the kind of campaign overview. Um, but if, you know, as we're going through this, you have ideas, you wake up in the middle of the night and say, I've got it, we should be doing this. Uh, you know, uh, Gerard, Jay, and myself are always available to chat and to explore how we can to make this campaign better. I don't know if Gerard, Jay, or even myself when you're calling us at three in the morning, but uh, at, at eight in the morning when you get up, uh, I think uh, we'd love to hear from you. Sounds good, thanks guys. <laughs> Uh, uh, Brad, if you and I and Brad, perhaps you and I and Gerard could hang on the line for just a couple minutes here. I'm going to talk through the logistics of, of, the, okay. of the possible date. Great. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining the call, and okay, uh, we you. look forward. To, we've got another one in October, but we look forward to seeing most of you on the 23rd, hopefully. Thanks. All right. Thanks, take care. Dad. Thanks. Bye. Bye.